This visual method statement will explain installation and testing procedure for MV metal clad switch gear panels. We will cover the following contents in this video. Purpose and scope. Responsibilities. Tools and equipment. Installation procedure. And references. The purpose of this method statement is to provide general guidelines for installation of MV metal clad switch gear panels inside substation control buildings. And scope is applicable to all substation projects inside Saudi Arabia and abroad. The visual illustrations will provide details of activity sequencing, installation, and testing of switch gear panels. It also indicates the applicable quality requirements to execute the work as per approved drawings, specifications, and international standards. Responsibilities of project team includes as following, project manager, overall responsible for ensuring the activity completion as per approved drawings and applicable standards. Site and construction manager, site monitoring, coordination with related staff, control of all the constructions activities related to the MV metal clad switch gear panels. Site engineer, directly involved in the planning and execution of the activities involved in the MV metal clad switch gear panels work, responsible to ensure adequate equipment are mobilized at works place prior to the starting the activity. QC engineer, ensuring and monitoring MV metal clad switch gear panels work. All activities to be executed as per client requirements, procedures, PTS, approved ITPs, and MOS. He will submit RFIs to consultant and arrange inspection for getting approval. Foreman, responsible to execute activity of installation as per IFC drawings and approved MOS. Safety officer and in charge, responsible for ensuring best health and safety practices across working, storage areas, and during equipment operations. He will prepare risk assessment for site activities. Following tools will be required to perform this activity, jack trolley, boom truck, fork lifter, crane, hand tools, digital abu meter, fluke meter, bolt meter, watt meter, digital meter, and leveling equipment. Execution procedure will comprise of two parts, first part is installation of MV metal clad switch gear panels and the second part is, testing. In the first part of the procedure, the following activities are performed for MV metal clad switch gear panels installation, before starting to execute this activity make sure the availability of latest approved IFC drawings. And, required NOC and work permits are obtained. Before shifting the panels for installation, make them clean and floor surface should be free from dust and obstacles. Check the panel support structure properly fixed on the floor. Check the level and alignment of support base. Shift the panels from storage area to inside room with the help of pallet trolley, lifting tool, and place it on the panel support. Make sure that trolley load carrying capacity is higher than the panel load. Check all panels physically, for any damage, defect, and deterioration. And ensure that all panels are aligned and fitted properly to the support. Ensure the panel's door move freely without any obstruction. Loosen the bolts to make the interconnection of bus bar. Terminate the cables precisely and insulate them accurately before tightening. Tight all bolts with torque wrench as per manufacturer recommendation. The minimum required torque for these bolt is 65 newton meter as per manufacturer. Now we will check the glands of the cables for incoming and outgoing ports, and these should be fitted properly. 
Make sure to check the grounding of panel and instruments for secure and correct connection. This grounding strip is running along the panel, going till the end. At the end of switch gear, an earthing strip goes to the basement. Where it connects with the main earthing mesh through an earthing bus bar. Inspect and ensure proper dressing and termination of MV cables. Here we can see, cables are terminated properly and bolts are tightened to required torque. Dressing is complete and the earthing is done. Check that all control wiring is correct and according to the approved drawing and terminal connections are secure. Terminal A5 and Terminal 11B of test switch number 1. It is showing the continuity is coming, it means the control wiring is correct. Ensure the minimum clearance of panels from walls as per approved drawing. Let's check if the clearance from the front of panel to wall is 2065 mm. And backside clearance is 1800 mm which is found ok as per drawings. After this, ensure if the breaker indicator is working correctly. We can check, breaker is on, and LED is also lighting up in red color. Now we will turn off the indicator, and if green light is on, its mean breaker is working ok. We can again turn on the breaker to see if red lights turns on again. All the devices must be labeled correctly. Check all the labels on the drawings, if they match with the labeling done on the switch gear panels. Make sure the panels are clean and doors are gently locked. Finally check and ensure the erection of all panels is done as per approved drawings. And doors are locked, extra materials and scrap is removed, surrounded area is well clean. In this second part of execution procedure, testing process of MV metal clad switch gear will be explained. First of all check and test the functionality of voltmeter, ammeters, digital function meter, PF test lamp and phase selector. Then all auxiliary devices and alarms. Test the functionality of breaker operation counter. Perform high voltage test of bus bar. Functional test of incoming and outgoing feeder to be done if ok. And for SF6 breaker, verify electrically the low gas pressure alarm and lockout function. Check the fair euling of the panels and should satisfactory and correct as per drawings. Check the continuity of wires, if it is ok. The function check of selector switches and indication lamps, should be found satisfactory. Dielectric tests of main circuit and auxiliary circuit should found satisfactory. And mega test at 5kV DC for buses and wiring should found satisfactory. The following documents may be referred regarding this activity. Inspection and test plan, ITP. Quality control procedure for identification and traceability. Checklist and SOP3. Latest revision of IFC drawings. Project technical specifications. 32 TMSS 03, SEC standard. TESP 119. 30. Thank you for watching. We hope this work methodology will be useful at site.